Hey everyone, coming up on this episode of Made Fit TV, I'm going to show you my new toys and an awesome workout that is my new favorite that's going to work every single muscle group in your body like you've never worked it before. Plus, we have a couple of shout outs. So, Made Fit TV starts right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Mayfit TV. I'm your host Jennifer DiDonato and this is episode number 140. We've officially been doing this for three years. Can you believe it? Um, well, if you're new after three years, Mayfit TV is a free website that I started on my own with my husband and uh, it's a way for me to offer advice to people all around the world because I am a personal trainer in Metro Detroit. I do in-home training and I can only train so many people. So doing this podcast allows me to reach out to people all over the world and the viewers and the fans have been fantastic. Um, so follow me on, um, go to madefittv.com and you can also follow my daily goings on and questions of the day and workouts on my fan page on Facebook, facebook.com slash madefittv. So welcome to the show. This is episode number 140 and uh, these are my latest things that I just love so much. Um, these are called equalizers, but I got them because I can throw them in the trunk of my car, I can bring them to my clients and we can do a lot of things that um, sometimes you can only do at a gym, but this way you can do it right at your own house and do a total body workout. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing and trainers out there, which you can do with your clients and clients and gym goers out there. Maybe you can uh, get rid of your gym membership and start training at home a little more intensely because this is what it's all about. Body weight movements, working with gravity. So I'm going to show you, uh, gosh, where do I start? I'm going to show you some pull-ups because this is one of my favorite movements that you can't do at home. You're working against gravity and I've showed you a pull-up before with one of those things that you put in the door, but this uh, you can just keep it on the ground and you can adjust the width you can make it narrow, you can make it wider, you can just do it one arm, there's so much. But I'll show you the basics. So what you wanna do is, I'm just gonna put these parallel, bend my legs, bring my butt up, you want your hips off the ground, starting position, and pull up. So you're doing a pull up, you're working your back, so it's a lot better than just doing a typical back, uh, a back row with a dumbbell. And so many people email me asking me, Jen, how do I get my pull ups? You know, how do I get better at them? And this is how you do it, just do more. If you want to make it harder, bring the legs out. And if people are more advanced, you can even bring your feet up and try it like that. Do some isometric movements working the back. Now that one is obviously more complicated, but that's what you, should, you can work up to. You can even just use one if you're working in pairs and do the pull-ups with just one of them like this. Do it just like that. So you're getting a different grip. Your palms are forward as opposed to neutral narrow grip. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Another way that you can train your body with these things is uh, working the triceps and the core. This one is an awesome move. You just use one of them. This is very creative. Not a lot of people do this. You know how you see people on those machines where you know they're coming downward and they're doing like a tricep extension. This is exactly what this is, except with your body. So you're not using a machine. You're actually forcing your body to do it. So you're going to kneel in front of the equalizer. Your back is going to be straight. You're just going to come forward and extend. And what you're doing here is you're keeping your abs tight because you don't want to you don't want to tip your, your pelvis forward because it's going to put a lot of pressure on your lower back. So uh, keep those abs tight. Bring them in and just keep them tight. Extend and do the triceps. Really hits the abs. I guarantee you that you'll probably be more sore from those in your abs than you would be in your triceps. But if you want to be sore in your triceps, here's an awesome way that you can do tricep killer workout. Tricep dips. Bring it down and up. Now, for a beginner, what you can do is just kind of keep your feet behind you slightly and do it that way. So this way, you're putting some weight on your feet to assist you doing it that way. Um, I love doing tricep dips. Another thing you can do, isolating the triceps for the abs, is bring the knees up. Let me show you from the side, slightly. Holding it like this, do a knee raise. So this way, you're working your abs and you're giving your shoulders and your triceps an isometric movement. So we're hitting the legs, we're hitting the abs, we're hitting the back, chest. And uh, Mark Liebert, the guy who, uh, 
who introduced me, and these are actually uh, the products that he created, he showed me this really awesome workout um, that helped him get single arm push-ups. That's one of the goals of mine because I can't do them very well. So what he does is he puts the equalizers like this, and what he does is he does a push-up, an incline push-up, but then what he does is he goes from one side to another. Got to keep the abs tight. Can you see it in that angle? Let me come forward. Let me come forward. Oh my gosh, I'm working up a sweat, you guys. Is this okay? So you're coming down. Push off to one side. Keep the abs tight. Push off to the other. And he'll lift his hand. Bring it back. Bring it back. So bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Sound like an SNL skit. So with that, you're really targeting one pec major on the side, the other one. You're mixing things up a lot better than just a typical push-up. But if you're a fan of the typical push-ups, here's a great way that you can mix it up. I'm just going to put the equalizer down here, doing it this way. Have something to hold on to. It's a little bit better. So doing the push-ups this way. And see how it's a little bit on a decline here? Now, if you want to kick it up a notch, let's hope I don't break the television. Bring the feet up on here. And do it this way. So you're on the decline, keeping your abs tight, back straight, and that's hitting kind of like the top of your shoulders with that one along with your chest. So there's just so much stuff to do. And you can even do, you know, uh, I like to do a lot of speed and agility work with my clients. You can hop up side to side, keep those knees up, go faster, faster, time them. I use the gym boss, making sure that they're boom, 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 hitting that, gets the cardio up. I like to do that in between sets of these things. So if you do all these movements, rotate them, and then add in some of those plyometric or even like side jumps, you know, back and forth. What you can do is just keep the heart rate up while you're incorporating into all these strength training movements. So obviously there are so many other movements that I can show you with these things. But um, for those, those are the killer beginner ones that, um, I guess, beginner. They are challenging, but challenge yourself. Your body is made to do these things. It's just we always think that we just have to go to a gym and lift a dumbbell. But use your body because the people who train like this, like those guys you see on YouTube who are at the, you know, at the playground. And this is stuff you can do at the playground as well. You can just go on those parallel bars. But I've seen a lot of videos where the guys are just jumping from bar to bar and doing all these crazy things. I mean, check them out. They're so cut. And all they're doing is just using their body. They're not doing any, you know, crazy, crazy things. So using your body the way it is is going to condition you the way your body's supposed to. Biology, evolution, that's the way our bodies work. So. Use your body the way it's meant to be used. Condition it. Keep doing it because the more you do it, the better you are going to get at it. So um, you guys, definitely, if you're interested in these, you can go to my site. I have a link on there. Um, what I do, obviously, is I have a few affiliate sites set up because um, when you purchase them from our site, obviously, you're getting a great product, but it's also helping our site as well, you know, a little small percentage. Um, but if you get it from our site, you know, you're helping, you're helping support Made Fit TV, and what you're also doing is I make sure that I set up discounts for you guys as well through these companies because I would not have them on my site if I did not use them myself and if I did not support them and think they were right for you. Remember, made for TV, no gimmicks. The people that I feature on my site are approved by me. So if you guys want to check these out, there's a promo code on there as well on MadeFitTV.com. Uh, it's right underneath this video. Uh, but the promo code, if you like to check them out, um, you'll get a discount. It's 10 one zero lebs 10 lebs so remember that you'll get a discount on these if you purchase them through my site and also um, they'll be on my fan page as well i'll be plugging them on there too in case you missed it on this video or want to relay it to a friend so all right Whew, i worked up a sweat now it's time for our uh, shout outs and some donation thank yous in our viewer vlog of the week 
this week's blog of the week, I did not pick a blog because I was getting a lot of emails. So the first thing I want to do, however, is just to thank you so much. Thank you to Donnie from Athens, Georgia. He sent a donation and he also uh, gave us a really good uh, question that I posted on the Made Fit TV fan page on Facebook. Facebook.com slash MadeFitTV. So you will see a lot of questions daily that I post on there with the answers that I email you with. So check that out. And also really quick, I just want to give a shout out to Gemma from Wirral, uh, United Kingdom. She sent me an email about a few weeks ago and saying that her and her friends always listen to me on their iPods while I work out. Gemma, I'm saying hello to you like you asked me to. Thank you so much for being a support and have fun at your prom. All right. So thanks so much for joining us. I know